Oh, Danessa Myricks, that is absolutely stunning. That color is just like perfection. You're still my favorite queen of the night. A friend, let's drive off again. Let's drive off again. All right, my beautiful glam sisters, we are diving into this new Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powdered Flushed Lips Cheek. That is a really long name, but I can't wait to try this out. You guys know I am such a fan of cream to powder type formulas. I love my uh, Natasha Denona one. I love my Armani ones. We're gonna see how this one compares. This does have that really unique, powerful ingredient Upsolite in it. And I did do a whole review, a very thorough review on the Danessa Myricks, uh, just their yummy skin blurring balm, like foundation, primer, however you wanna use it type product. <laughs> I always try to figure out, what is this called? Is this a balm? Is this a powder? It's, it's just so incredibly unique. So you can check out my full review there and definitely go check it out because I'm not gonna go into all the details of Upsolite. I really went into the science behind Upsolite in that video and I don't wanna repeat myself again, but this was shade two and this is the one that I use and that's my perfect shade. And then today I did bronze up or I just kind of caught, did like a slight bronze tour with shade six. So again, this is the original formulation. This one's getting a little oily, this, this one. That one stayed pretty dry. So maybe the cap wasn't on all the way. I don't know, but I really like this formula. It's really beautiful. I don't use it as often just because honestly I have too much stuff and I keep forgetting about stuff, but they do come with like a little uh, spatula too so you can dig that out. Now this is definitely smaller obviously because it is a blush, so that's the difference in sizes, but you don't need this much blush. So I appreciate the smaller container and it's really easy to travel with. This is a really beautiful like copper, copper tone I want to say type packaging and it has it in the back and I went with the lightest shade I think it's called Rose and Brunches I'll put it right there I can't remember the name right now but it is such a beautiful beautiful color and it just twists off like that so just make sure you screw them on nice and tight but that is a really beautiful pink so I'm showing you what it looks like in studio, but now let's roll over into my product shots that I always do in natural daylight, just on my iPhone with no lights, because I really like for you guys to see what the true depiction of the color tone is. And I feel like that's best shown on my iPhone and just more in natural daylight. I just do it right against the door. So it is a really beautiful color, like extremely beautiful. This was my perfect shade. I'm so glad I would like to try the other ones if I like the formulation. These do run $25. You get about 0.21 ounces and six grams of product. You're looking at about $4.17 per gram. That's not bad because a lot of the blushes that I love and my holy grails run a lot more than that on per gram size. So like the Armani and the Natasha Denona one, those are my two favorite and really the only ones I use. So $25 feels a lot more digestible, especially in this economy. This is available in six shades. And again, I went with the lightest one and that's called Rosé and Brunch. I was correct. And that's a neutral rosy pink. It is a really beautiful shade. It's actually prettier in person than I thought even online. And the other ones looked a little too bright for my taste, but I, I do, if I like the formula, I do want to try it out. This is vegan. It's a cream formula. It's good for pores and it's best for oily combo and normal skin. And of course it gives you a matte finish. Inspired by our award-winning blurring balm powder, this buildable soft matte formula blurs and smooths the cheek and lips with all day wear. The highlighted ingredients are as already mentioned, Upsolite, which is the main ingredient, and that supports and absorbs excess sebum and sweat while maintaining skin hydration. Olive-derived squalene, known to support oil production and diminish visible signs of aging, and hyaluronic acid to promote skin hydration. And I really feel like that Upsolite is such a key ingredient, especially for my ladies out there that get very oily skin. And again, I went in really 
like in depth with Uppsala and how it was created out of Uppsala University. I will link the video below from Disruptive Materials. It was so amazing, you guys, because after I released that video, Disruptive Materials, who actually owns the patent for Upsolite, the actual ingredient, they reached out to me on Instagram and thanked me for such a great video and how I explained it really well on there. So go go check that out. That was such an honor. I had like chills. I was like, oh my gosh, that's pretty awesome. So I went into more depth and I don't want to take too much time on this video and repeat myself for those who already watched it. But if you haven't watched it, go check it out. But basically Upsolite is just a really incredible, unique ingredient that's not in a lot of products, especially cosmetic products right now. I think it's in like one hair product and a couple skin products, but it's not in any type of cosmetics except for like a few setting powders. So I really love that Danessa Myricks has had this partnership with them and has really decided to put it into a lot of her colored products now and then her base products. Great thing about this ingredient is that you, it actually is like a time releasing ingredient. So as we go through the day, some of us pr produce more sebum than others, right? So some of us get more oily than others. I'm more normal to dry. But if you do produce a lot of excess sebum, this is like, I think it like can soak up to like 75% if I remember of oil and it actually soaks it up internally and like holds it into the tiny pores of Upsolite, the ingredient, so that the outer layer stays dry and it can extend the wear time of your makeup products, like as if you were using powder, but it can actually absorb more oil than most setting powders, decreasing the cakiness and the creasing and all of that. So it's pretty cool that it's now in a colored product. I mean, we got it into a base product last year. We have it with some other companies in setting powders. I think Linda Halberg has one with Upsolite in it, but, uh, and then All Natural, which is sold at Ulta, they also have uh, Upsolite in their setting powder. But I wanna say this is the first colored product on the market to have it. So I'm really excited. Let's take a look at the full ingredient list just to make sure there's nothing in there that will bother our skin. So we have magnesium carbonate as the first ingredient. C1315 alkaline is not coconut oil, just so you guys know that. It's just another uh, emollient type of formula. But you've got glycerol, you've got root oil, you've got synthetic waxes, dimethicone, no coconut oil. Very happy about that. The ingredient list looks pretty comparable to what the powder is. I think it's pretty much the same exact thing. So I am going to try this out. I already have my foundation on because I am testing out the brand new KBD foundation. I think I'm releasing that one first. So I should have the card right there. You can check out that video. I'm doing a wear test on it right now, but that's what I have on. And then I have a little bit of the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm in shade six, and that's just on the contour area. And that's all I have. So let's try out this rosé brunch. Makes me want to have like a rosé. So that's the swatch of the color. Really pretty. And then once you blend it out into the skin, it obviously is just going to give nice flush to the cheeks. And you can, if you blend it out with your fingers, you notice how almost it just kind of gives like a flush tone to the skin, but it's not really like vibrant. When you get the real vibrant look is you when you use like a brush. So I just cleaned this brush for this video. So we're gonna dip that in so you guys can see what that looks like. That's the color tone really pretty. I also like the BK Beauty 106. That's another one. I think I'm just going to, I'm just going to dab it on the back of my hand just to kind of make sure that it gets blended into the bristles because the first layer sometimes doesn't, you know, doesn't really go off too well. So let's try this on the cheek. And I took off a lot of it just because I was scared. I was a little, a little frightened. It was pretty aggressive. Wow. That is a really beautiful color. That is so pretty. I really like that color tone. Oh, 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 she's pretty. She gets aggressive quick though. So you just need a little bit. My monitor kind of, and the lights and everything kind of subdue it, but when you see it in person, it's like really, really light. I'm glad I dipped it off on the back of my hand. All right, now let's try it with my BK Beauty 101, just because, or 106, just because I wanna see which one I like better. I'm just gonna take off the rest of that onto this. This is clean. 
Uh, this is the one I always use with my Natasha Denona. This is BK Beauty 106. So I like both of these. I like actually applying my cream blushes with this brush. I never really use that Rose and Ben one for creams. I use it more for powders. All right, now let's try this side. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is like the most incredible formula. This is the Natasha Denona formula. This is like this, I mean, the same concept that I love with the My Dream Cheek Trio, which is my ultimate favorite cream blush. This is that same formula and the Armani ones, the Neo Nudes that I love. These guys, uh, I don't know, they're around here somewhere. Oh, right here, right in front of my face. It's that same type of formula. See, this is that same thing. It feels the same, exactly. This is more of a peach tone though. And that's more of a pink tone. See, that's the Armani one and that's that one. Oh, let's try swatching that actually. Let me take this off my hand because we're gonna have a hot mess going on here. Let me take that off. Just using my uh, micellar water. I talk about it in my favorites coming up. So stand by for that. Just all these new products came out. So I already filmed it. I just gotta get it out. I gotta edit it and get it out to you guys. So I'm gonna swatch the Natasha Denona one. Wow, that's really pretty. That's the Natasha Denona one. And then we'll do the Danessa Myricks right there. Oh yeah, so the tones are completely different, which is good because I don't have a tone like that. And then that's the Armani. So we have Armani right here, and then that's the Danessa Myricks, and then that's the Natasha Denona. Really pretty. All gorgeous shades. I mean, I can wear all of them. It doesn't really matter. I absolutely love, love, love. So this one feels even like this one feels a little dry now, I guess maybe because I've had it for a while, where this layer feels a little bit more emollient, I should say. It just feels a lot more emollient than that one. But I don't know, maybe over time it will dry out a little. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that works. But I love it. I actually like it with my BK Beauty 106. I like my Rose and Ben C41 more for powdered blushes. And I don't know, it, they both work. I mean, you can't go wrong with either one of them. I think I'm just more familiar with this BK Beauty 106 one, so I really enjoy it. But like I said, can't go wrong. I'll do a little bit on my nose. I like to just take the excess so it doesn't get too crazy around my nose. And you can go up further and really get that I'm cold look if you want to. I'm just kind of building it up slowly because I just want to see how it would look built up, but I really enjoy this. Oh, I knew I was going to love this because I am a powder girl, I'm a matte girl, I am not a luminous blush girl, so this is giving me everything I could possibly want. I don't have any bronzer on, so you can really see the tones. Oh, that is so beautiful. Oh, Danessa Myricks, that is absolutely stunning. That color is just like perfection. I knew I was going to love this, you guys. It's so pretty. That is such a beautiful pink. All right, I'm gonna pull you in close and then we're gonna go do uh, a shot uh, video for B-roll outside of my studio. It looks so smoothing on my skin and I just wanted you guys to really see what it looked like up close outside of my studio lights. As always, my studio lights just make everything look amazing. But you guys, this is so beautiful. I haven't even blended out the edges yet. I'm just, I just really wanted to place the pigment in there and really let you guys see how pretty it is. I mean, literally, it makes my pores look like I don't have any pores. So it's doing everything that the Natasha Denona one's doing. So just a different color tone, but very similar formula. But I like that I don't have to really travel with this one. I can travel with that one. Although I do wanna try out other color tones as well. I would love a little bit more subdued one. That would be really pretty. I hope she kind of releases a few more shades because that would be kind of cool too. Wow, that is just so pretty, you guys. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my puff and this just has like my Charlotte Tilbury powder on it and not, there's nothing on there anymore. It's pretty, it's just whatever was left over. But I'm just gonna go around the edges just to soften out the edges so that we don't have any type of, but I mean, literally, it just blends itself. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, between the foundation and this blush, we hit a home run. Oh, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Yeah, that's just absolutely beautiful. All right, you don't even need to set that down. You don't need to put any powders over it, so we're not gonna do any of that. I may put a little bit of bronzer. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, just do a little bit of bronzer. Nothing too aggressive though. We want something a little less intense. Uh, which one do I wanna use? My less intense. We'll use my uh, Gucci one. It can be intense, but this shade two, I think is perfect with this color tone. So I'm just gonna go like that, just kind of underneath, just to structure out the face a little, because I didn't have any bronzer on. And then just bring that down there. I love this Gucci shade too. I really hope Danessa comes out with like a contour version of this. So if anyone watches this from the Danessa Myricks team, let's get a contour one like that because wow, because this is too big to travel with. <laughs> it's nice to have, but I would like some more contour type shades. I can't use her contour balm because it has coconut oil in it. So I would love this formula in a contour shade. Oh, how pretty. That looks really good with my Gucci bronzer. So this is shade two and rose and brunches is just absolutely stunning. It really is. That is one of the most beautiful pinks. Wow, wow, wow. Get your hands on this. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you guys, you will not be disappointed. So pretty. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's take off my gloss. I'm gonna leave like the outer layer of my lips just because I wanna see what this looks like as a lipstick or as a on the lips. It's a little bright for your girl. She doesn't do, I am more of a nude girl, so, but it's really comforting on the lips. It's really soft. It has like that K-beauty type feel. It looks pretty as on the lips too. Kind of airbrushes your lips a little. So how I would do that actually is really pretty. I don't wear too many pinks so, or uh, too many bright colors on my lips. Not that this is incredibly bright, but uh, where is my, oh, here we go. My iconic nude from Charlotte Tilbury. I like that. It looks good on the lips. Looks really pretty on the lips. So a nice lip and cheek product. This is perfect. I'm filming this before Valentine's Day, so this will be released after Valentine's Day, but that would have been really pretty for Valentine's Day. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little bit in the middle of just a lighter shade. I'm gonna do my Gucci. Uh, uh, Carol Beige is the color, and I just what I like to do is just kinda make sure lips look fuller. Just kinda go in the center. And this is like a cool tone, so that actually goes really well with it. Just like that, just to kind of give it a little juge. That's really pretty on the lips. It looks good together, that combo. And then I probably have lipstick all over my teeth now. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do a little bit of my Buxom Princess. This is Princess. Love this color. Don't let it frighten you. I know it's purple. I have been using this for like 20 years now. The same color. It looks pretty with, the, with that too. Okay, they only sell this color at Ulta for some reason and then probably on the Buxom website, but wow, that's pretty. I love it. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. All right, I'm gonna do my Rare Beauty highlighter, or do I wanna do my Charlotte Tilbury highlighter? No, we'll do Rare Beauty. All right, uh, let me get my brush, Wayne Goss airbrush. We're doing the shade Enlighten. Stop it. The shade is so pretty. Don't worry, I'm gonna blend that in. I haven't gotten there yet. Oh, all right. Just gonna take my uh, Sonia G buffer brush. Ooh, that looks so good together. This just makes me so happy. And then I'm gonna take just whatever was left over on the brush, just like that. Oh, you guys, this is like, mm, so far this and the foundation, I think are my products of 2023 thus far. Like seriously, that is so pretty. Oh, Danessa girl. Oh my gosh. This is, I think, product of the year for me so far, 2023. Wow. All right, you guys, let's rate this product. I am gonna give it, by no surprise, a solid five out of five, 100. 
3000% of me would recommend this blush formulation, especially for my mature skin ladies, because we need all the help we can get with blurring out fine lines and all of that stuff. So this is incredible. I'm starting this new thing this year where I'm giving like a gold star rating to the products that I feel really are the products I'm going to repurchase once I hit pan. And this is a gold star rating. This is unbelievably beautiful, easy, any age. I mean, literally anybody can use this product. And I liked that I liked it on my lips too. So it's a multi-purpose product. I am so incredibly impressed. I mean, every single claim they had on there is a check mark for me from ingredients to the formulation, to the way it blurs out the skin, to the how easy you can apply it. I mean, everything you can see right there on my right card just is a check mark. And not all the time do you get that. Uh, we just had a video recently where we had a lot of X's from a major brand. So. I am so happy that I, I picked this up and I bought this myself, $25. This was not a PR type. I don't get PR from Danessa Myrick, so uh, call me. Have your people call my people because I like to be on the PR list so I can get more colors. <laughs> I gotta try it for my glam fam sisters, but I did purchase this myself and I think it's well worth $25. I would have even probably spent more on it just because I think it's that good of a formulation. But I love that you're not gonna, it's gonna take you a while to get through this and it's an approachable price. So sometimes, you know, companies will charge a lot for a product and you're like, I know I'm not gonna get through all of that. Where this is $25, so it's a little bit more digestible. And I think the Rare Beauty is the same concept. I'll, I actually rated this one more recently over the Charlotte Tilbury just because this is a lot more affordable at purchase price. And I think it's just as beautiful. So let's go over my blush list, my cream blush favorites. I'm going to do powder and cream just because I think that's important. So this, well, actually let's just do the cream ones first because I, you can't really compare it to the powders. So as far as cream blush formulations, just because this is my preference and remember that the Danessa Myricks now takes number one. It does. It's number one. And the number two would probably be my Armani one, the Neo Nude, just because that one has several different shades and I don't have to have a bulky thing to travel with. So I appreciate that. And then the My Dream Cheek Trio. This probably would have hit number two if I only had this blush. I wish she would just take this blush and put it in a separate component and you can't take it out like a lot of her other products. So it's it's just, I don't really use those two. I mean, I guess I used it in the inner corner today, but this is, I mean, it's hard because these three pretty much tie, but what makes this one stand out a little bit more is the Upsolite ingredient. And I do feel like even more than this one, you're getting just a very airbrushed, filter-like look on your cheek. And then I would go with the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Blushes. I really like this one a lot. Um, this is a lighter shade just because these are pretty aggressive, but I also have Happy, which is a really pretty shade, but that's that matte formulation. The only reason why I'm not a like I don't use them very often is because I'm not a fan of the doe foot type applicator. So it's just not my thing. I would rather have this type of component. It's just easier to, it just doesn't get so messy. I don't like putting the sponge tips from the doe foot applicator directly on there. I think it disrupts makeup in my opinion. I just don't care for that. And then I would do the hourglass one. That would be my next one. I guess that would be the final one. Those are the only cream type blushes that I can think of off the top of my head right now that I would continuously go to, but not ones that I would really use that. Those last two, I wouldn't use that often because I use these all the time. I, you guys know that. Like I always put these underneath my powder because blush is the first thing to go. So I will let you guys know in the comments section how this wears, and you'll probably see it in the video uh, prior the, with the KBD Good Apple Foundation because it's gonna be a longer time that I'm doing a wear 
test on that. But yeah, it's really beautiful, you guys. I mean, just purely gorgeous. Okay, let's go over my powdered blushes. So NARS would be number one, but unfortunately they took away Gina and I thought Gina was still available on their website and it wasn't. So you can get it on Amazon, but that was like my number one blush color tone it was just it's a, it's that color that i can take with me on a trip and i can wear it with pink i can wear it with reds i can wear it with any eyeshadow look it's just that universal coral pink that i absolutely love and i think it makes the skin look so incredibly youthful the next one because it's so incredibly affordable the only thing is i don't know if they're doing away with this formulation because i used first uh, this is first touch uh, is this one? This is a shame. I used First Touch, which is more the coral shade, in the Charlotte Tilbury blush, which, by the way, got a really bad rating. Uh, so it didn't even make the list. But I used that one, and then I went on the Sephora website to put the link in, and it's gone now. So I'm thinking because they're reformulating these, they're just kind of getting rid of the ones that they don't have anymore in stock. But the, this formulation, I hope they don't do too much different to it because it is so incredibly good really good for the price point and then my Laura Mercier blush I love that blush it's called rose and actually those are good color tones together but I don't really think you need anything over this I don't want to ruin it right now but this is th these two would be really pretty together but I think this is gonna last all day long I love that I love that I can just bring one blush too that's what's nice and it's not getting you know shiny it's not glowy. I mean, it's, I feel like I have a kind of a glow from within with the highlighter, but the actual blush just kind of melts into my skin. And I feel like it's just like the ingredient does. It's just looking better and better over time. If you have oily skin, this is a dream come true blush for you because there is no powder on the market right now that can soak up that much oil like Upsolite can. Upsolite, remember, it can soak up to like 75% of oil sebum. So that's pretty amazing. I love it, you guys. Oh my gosh. Make sure to comment below and please let me know what other colors you guys picked up or if you picked this up at all, this was on your radar. I definitely want more shades. I mean, this is like... I don't even know how to explain how pretty it is. Like, it looks beautiful in the monitor, but in person, I think it looks even more beautiful and my skin looks like I have an Instagram filter on it in person. I'm looking at a 10 times magnifying mirror right here and it looks like I have no pores. That's pretty amazing. Like, I mean, seriously, that is so incredible. I don't even know what to tell you guys. It's just insanely good. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, I mean, you are just a true Glam Fam sister. As always, when you guys make it to the end of my videos, it really does help my videos out. So thank you so much. And if you are new here, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and click the post notification bell. Join us, we're here every Friday and Sunday. And we just really love for you to become part of our sisterhood. If you like videos like this, if you like everything beauty, please remember to give this video a huge thumbs up when you guys hit the like button and when you comment below. It really does help my videos out so much and I greatly appreciate it. If you decide to purchase any of these products, I would love if you would use my link as it does help go to support my channel. So thank you. I love you guys. And you can follow me on all of my socials at Christy Allure. Check out my merch, Glamorous Life Collections, and I will see you guys on the next video. Love you guys. Bye. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do